Hey everybody, my name is Mary Gibbs and welcome to Boo Grown Up. When I was three years old, I was the voice of Boo and Monsters, Inc. and here I am 20 years later. So in my first video about the frequently asked questions I get about being Boo, I talked about how I have different plans for my life than being a voice actress. And I always told myself that I was not going to be one of those people that persistently looked for a role. That being said, I am a very go-with-the-flow type of person, and I'm a firm believer that if an opportunity presents itself, it's probably for a reason, and you should probably take it. So that's exactly what happened. I met a couple people at a Comic-Con, Jerry and Andrew. Jerry runs Theme Parkology, and he does a lot of really awesome videos behind the rides at Disneyland, and he also has a streaming section on his page. And Andrew Nelson, he was a special effects artist for Star Wars, he wore the Darth Vader costume in some of the movies, and he's the voice of Darth Vader in a lot of the video games. So I met these really awesome guys at a Comic-Con a while ago, and I've seen them at a few Comic-Con since, and we've just stayed in touch and become friends. So Jerry is writing a script called Heroes of Extinction, and it is designed to be an audio show, and Andrew suggested to Jerry that I should play a part in it. So, I mean, you guys know I'm not a voice actress. This definitely scared me, but being uncomfortable is also motivation to step into that and go for it because it's going to be exciting. That's how I saw this opportunity. I knew I had to take it. I thought it was a fun way to dip my toes into the water. And yeah, I'm really excited. So I submitted a voice track reading two different characters and I got the part for Janessa. So Heroes of Extinction is about a superhero who loses his powers as he is getting older and he's in search of a sidekick. And that sidekick just might be Janessa, my character. And at first Janessa is this really timid girl who isn't too sure of herself and as she starts taking karate classes and getting really skilled in martial arts, she becomes a lot more confident because she knows she can just kick people's asses. And I really resonate with that character because right now I am doing Krav Maga, which is a self-defense used by the Israeli military. And it's definitely making me feel a lot more badass. And so I can really channel that into the character. And that's really exciting. But the other day I drove to LA to record in my friend Josh's studio. So going into this Heroes of Extinction recording, I was a little nervous. I loved musical theater growing up, but sixth grade came around and I auditioned for Wizard of Oz. They made us audition in front of all of the eighth graders. He made me read the line of a witch. He told me to cackle and I just froze and I cried, and that was the last audition I did. So I've got some slight PTSD when it comes to this, but with my friends Jerry and Andrew leading this project, and my friend Josh, who is able to record and direct me, definitely makes me feel like I'm allowed to explore and play around, and again, just test the waters in voice acting. And just wait until you find out who Josh's recording booth used to belong to. So here we go, everybody. Let's meet Josh and take a tour of his recording studio. We're here at my friend Josh's studio. I'm going to do some voiceover recording today. And here we go. The most awkward episode of Cribs <laughs> ever. <laughs> Pay no attention to the construction. Getting air conditioning installed. Which would be nice. Ooh. Top row is Power Rangers. Middle row is Star Wars. Bottom row is Marvel. Uh, then I have a proton pack, that is my quarantine project. Lights up, makes sound. <laughs> and a bunch of sci-fi nerdy weapons. There's Star Wars blasters, Star Wars hammers in there. Just That's bigger. cool. Oh yeah, I worked I on um, the restoration of the DeLorean. Um, oh yeah, you told me that. Yeah, so we made a movie about it, so that's the movie poster oh. for the movie. And then as a thank you for working on the restoration, Bob Gale, who was the co-creator, co-writer, and producer of the film, gave us autographed posters with his autograph, uh, Bob Zemeckis, who directed it, Christopher Lloyd, played Doc Brown, and it came with this really nice letter. You told me about this. this oh is yeah, the model so that's the built. model DeLorean hand sanitizer. Oh yeah, stay uh, safe. We're not social distancing, but we are sanitizing. Yeah. To the right is uh, my edit bay. You know, it's good for editing. And then over <laughs> here is the voiceover booth. So fancy. The previous renters uh, were the voices of Disneyland and California Adventure. 
So when you go to Disneyland, when you can go to Disneyland, and you hear, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's my friend Bill. When I actually to... met that guy at a Comic Con. Oh, yeah, so you know Bill. Yeah, yeah. that's and his, funny. And his wife, Cammy, is the voice of California Adventure. So oh, what? The voice of Disneyland is married to the voice of California Adventure. And these were their voiceover booths. So this was Bill's and this was Cammy's. Oh, wow. And they moved. Um, and I had been friends with them. And I was like, well, we've got to keep this awesome space like in the family. Um, so I took over. And when they come back uh, to do voice work here in L.A., they still mm -hmm. use their booths. So... That was kind of, yeah. So That's I turned cameras cool. into my edit bay and then I left bills. Yeah. But yeah. Janessa shifting from one foot to another, tucking at the long raven colored lock of hair that escaped her ponytail <laughs> as Gabriel's sharp eye assesses her. All right, we're rolling okay. whenever you're ready. Ex student, I'm, I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break. <laughs> Can we make it a musical? Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Uh, you want to roll it? <laughs> Sure. Just read it a couple times. Different different ways, different intonations, different inflection. Ex student, I'm uh I'm taking a break. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Wanna roll on it? I, do you need anything else? Another coffee? Muffin? My treat. Treat. <laughs> it's flat. My, My treat. treat. My treat. <laughs> Monotone. Okay. Yeah. Do you need anything else? Another coffee? Muffin? My treat? Treat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. Do you need anything else? Another coffee? Muffin? My treat? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Is it my treat? Is it really? No matter how much fun I had recording, Voice acting is so much harder than it seems. You're just in a booth recording to a microphone, and so you don't have the other actors to interact with and get that emotion. You just have to create the emotion on the spot. And I mean, that's really the talent behind voice actors. Josh was really good at getting me to inflectuate different parts of my voice and fire up that emotion in me. And, you know, there was one point where we're yelling back at each other, you know, trying to get me angry, and, and you really have to find a way to get those emotions and make them real so it doesn't just sound like you're reading. You know, it took some practice and uh, it will definitely take a lot more practice, but I hope by the end of this project I will be a lot better voice actress and either way it's just going to be really fun to do. And I hope you guys still enjoy listening to my voice 20 years later. <laughs> With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so excited for you guys to see the progress and see the final product of this awesome project. It's really coming together. In your own